What's up? Got a uh, CJRB uh, Echo. And of course, uh, I don't know, the designer there, Laconica, Laconico. Um, it's in AR RPM9 steel. So there's there's plenty of talk about that that AR steel and uh, how it's comparable to D2. Um, it's got better corrosion resistance, but it's not quite as hard. So, I don't know, man. You're going to have to make up your own mind on that stuff. Um, I don't have a D2 knife that's corroded. And then again, I don't know that what I'm using my D2 knives for, a little difference in the hardness makes a difference. But anyways, these were the hot ticket. Uh, the other CJRB was super hot. And I saw this one. I, I'm trying to think of the name of that one. But um, I something about this one and the blade shape that, that I liked better. So I got this one. And the action um, on this is stupid good. Yeah, I mean, just like I, I get the hype as soon as I put it in my hand. Um, yeah. Like every part of this thing and the action... It, it's one of those that the action is so loose and flies around so good that I, I promise you, you can't help but go, is this thing tight or is it coming apart? Because it's that good. It's just the bearings that they, the way they built this and put it together, it's so good that you can't help but check it. Now, on this, this uh, stainless liner version, the the acoustics of this, the sound of it, which is, seems like a really dumb thing with a knife, but this thing sounds wonderful. It's uh, pleasing to the senses um, to hear this thing run. So up and down, it's drop shutty. You know, this thing will just fling open and fling sh and drop shut 100%. Well, so I bought two because of the slick nature of these scales. I said, you know what? I, I want to see what this one feels like. And so the action is close enough that I'm going to say it's kind of hard to discern the two, but it is a little different in this, this version. Now is, is that because there's just some small, difference in the setup I don't, you know it's still got steel liners that you know part of the difference is is the steel liner is complete on this one it's just one big piece of steel whereas this one it's a steel liner with the lightweight carbon fiber so i or not uh, carbon fiber but micarta so the difference in the action may just be because this one's a more solid knife I, you know, it could be slightly different. Is this still awfully good? Yeah, it is. And uh, enough so that this one also will make you kind of check it and go, is that coming loose? But it's not. It just runs really, really well. And uh, so the main difference between the two... Um, well, not the main difference, but one of the big differences between these two knives is this one sounds amazing. This one, that micarta, acted like a muffler. So you can still hear it, but noticeably different. So that's there. Uh, what about the grip? Okay, so this is slicker than all get out. It's just slick, but there's actually some bite to it. It's super smooth, but it's in a weird way, it's sticky. This one is super smooth, but it's not sticky. 
it's got just the tiniest little bit of texture on it. But it's super smooth. It's like it's polished micarta. And so is it an upgrade to go from the steel to the micarta? And I mean, it's so unnoticeably grippy or that I'm going to say it, it is not an upgrade to do this. This one, in a weirdest way, it's smoother, but it's sort of sticky. So this one, and so on the action side, this one is definitely heavier. Um, but it's not grotesquely heavy. You know, it's not a heavy knife, um, but it's heavier. You can feel it, the difference between that one and this one. This one's much lighter. Actually, much lighter. Um, you can, it's noticeable. So, I, you know, something to consider. This one's lighter. But as you can see, it's the exact same blade stock. Yep. Okay. Um, grip. What about the grip on these knives? So, really nice grip. Um, good jimping here. It does, it does lend to lock the thumb in to a strong grip back here. So, I, I mean, pretty, pretty confident, strong grip here. I wouldn't want to do any forward facing work with it because the potential's there. You know, if your grip loosened for whatever reason, you could run forward onto this blade and that would be a bad thing. So, uh, but a really nice, strong grip. If you're slicing, doing this work, um, you also can get up here above the pivot in this space here like there's a space for it got to be cautious because you can you can ride up into the back side of this blade and that is pointy and sharp there but right here you could you know for some you know close-up work whatever that is um you could get up there and do that um pocket clip i mean it's just one of them that it's smooth on this knife. The scale is smooth. This scale, oddly enough, is smooth. So this thing is one-handed in, deep carry. I mean, it goes all the way to the top of the knife. The knife just going to disappear in your pocket. Um, very easy in, very easy out. And it doesn't matter whether it's big jeans or, or, or dress pants. This thing's going to work. Um, it's not recessed, but it, it does have, um, recessed screw heads. So really nice pocket clip. Let's talk about safety real quick. Check it out. Yeah, there's nothing going to happen in here. And that tip is well recessed into the end there. So no concerns about catching that at all. Um, price and availability. So, um, when this thing first came out, I think it was in the $70 range, roughly. Um, I think that it's currently down around, I think it's around $60, $65 or so on Amazon. Um, but White Mountain Knives has these in several configurations right now for $59 and some change. And with a 10% code, um, you can get these down around $55. So there you go, $55 for, I don't know, arguably one of the coolest knives so far, budget knives. I mean, at $55, I'm going to say it's a budget knife. You know, it's just too close to my $50 line to call I mean what what would you call it then if it's above you know if it's 55 and not 50 would you say well that's a mid-level knife nah it you know it's definitely a budget knife but it is a cool budget knife and it takes a good edge I'm you know yeah I mean these things are sharp yeah they cut man and uh, they cut really well. Um, 
Now, I, I put an edge on both of these because the edge that came with it wasn't quite to my liking. So I took a minute and put a, put a toothy little gritty thing on them. And uh, I, I use them, and I've carried, I've carried both of these. Um, not long term, but I've put them in my pocket for a minute. And uh, I really do like them. Um, I'm going to say that they are definitely a budget pick knife. Either one. They're pretty cool. I believe there's also a carbon fiber version. So, anyways, uh, I recommend a knife. I appreciate you watching. Thanks.